This is a solo duo trio base that I recently built called the Druid. The Druid has four external TCs to prevent your base from getting completely sealed off during a raid. The compound has 360 turret coverage from all angles, along with plenty of large furnaces, mixing tables, refineries, and whatever else you might need. I don't know how this base starts off as a 2x1 and eventually expands all the way through four floors and into the roof. Now if you're wondering what these things are, these are actually the peak downs. As you can see, it provides great coverage all around the base. And this is a relatively new design created by another YouTuber called G-Lights. So shout out to him. But what this allows you to do is build up four floors and a roof very early on into wipe. So you're able to get roof access just a day or two into wipe. And then what you're able to do is add your peak downs modularly as you get enough resources for them. This eliminates having your shooting floor delayed for multiple days into the wipe, which can be very damaging if you get raided early on. Another great feature about these peak downs is that each one of them contains its own bedroom, which is very great for if you're getting online raided. In total, this is how much the base costs and how much upkeep is required. On the outside of the base, there are these external TCs, there's four of them, and they are connected to the base via mini support disconnectables. The way this works is you simply just build a trig roof here and it will disconnect the, the TC. Then you can reconnect it by breaking the roof and adding these back. Every entrance to the compound has Dropbox storage. And inside of the compound, there is plenty of large furnaces, mixing tables, space for refineries, and 360 turret coverage. Inside of the core, plenty of storage, space for a workbench, and electric furnaces. Over through the airlock, we have some furnaces, along with a vending machine with a hidden locker behind it. Here is plenty of more room for more electric furnaces along with an interior auto turret and more storage space. Going up to the third floor, there is way more storage space, two interior turrets, another locker with a hidden or another hidden locker with a vending machine, and then more furnaces. And then on the fourth floor, you have three bedrooms, a large battery, plenty of locker storage, and then jump up to the roof. On the roof, there are two drone-only vending machines, which can be accessed by placing a roof like so, or you'd place a you'd place a twig roof like so, and then you can open a vending machine, and then you destroy the twig, and now the vending machine is sealed once again. Then there are also the the peak downs with lockers inside of each one along with 360 turret coverage of the roof. I don't know why these are missing. What the f Okay, just ignoring that, you also are gonna have two of these windmills, which are gonna provide enough electricity for the entire base. To build the starter, start by taking the fixed knob on your compass and lining it up with one of the moving knobs. This isn't necessary, but whenever you build your building within line with the compass, it will make it a lot easier to freehand the placement of like boxes and other objects like that. It'll just make that way easier. Start by building your normal two by one. Place the TC on the left corner like I do. Then you can fit three boxes like so. And you can put a garage door here. Then go outside and place some twig like this. And then place a shelf inside of the base. Then on the shelf you can fit another two boxes. Actually I'll place this one first. And then you can place three box, three uh, three small boxes like I do.
and then I'll flip these back around. I, was, I just made it so the hard side faced inward. That way I could place the objects a bit easier. You can also put these doors on and put your tier 2 on this side and then put three furnaces against this wall. Once you're ready to expand, build the jump up like so. Make the jump up out of three furnaces or out of the half wall, but I prefer the three furnaces. Then wall that off like I do. Once this part of the jump up is complete, you can add a honeycomb to each side like so. In. but leave a single doorway here and then I'll put a roof on everything and if you put a roof here make sure to leave this wood that way you can saw side it out in the future inside the second floor first build a shelf here and you can place four large boxes and four small boxes. It should look something like this once you place everything. Then come over to this side of the base and place a locker in this corner. Then add a single doorway and place a vending machine in front of the locker. Oh, but make sure that you lock this locker. Then place the vending machine after you've locked it, and this will allow you to access the vending machine through the, or access the locker through the vending machine, and then you can still access the vending machine right here. On this side, add a half wall, and a floor triangle, and then add another half wall and floor triangle right here. We'll need that for the future. Out here, you can finish your jump up by adding this and then fill a door in there. And then you can place some twig right here as a temporary jump up. To build up to the third floor, start by soft siding out this, and then place a wall frame here that you can fill with the garage door. And then place two walls like this. Oh wait, my garage door didn't place. Wrong way, this way, yep. And then place two floor triangles like that. And then you can wall in the entire third floor. Then add roofs on everything. From here, you can put two walls like that and that. Rotate both. I'm actually, I'm just going to rotate this one. In this corner, we're going to have another locker behind a vending machine, which you can place like so. Boom. And then in this corner, I'm going to have three furnaces. And those are all going to be behind a garage door. And then on both of these sides, I'm going to add shelves with four boxes and four small boxes on each. Once you're done building the shelves, they should look something like this. Make the jump up, build a half wall with a triangle and a wall frame. Then build two walls and put a roof on it and then put the garage door right here. Little place. There we go. To build the fourth floor, start by surrounding it in walls like I do. Then place a wall here, and a shelf jump up here. There's another wall here, and then I'll add roofs on everything, except for right here. This is where our jump up is going to be. 
So I'll make that really quick. Voila. On the side of the fourth floor, we're going to place our large battery in this corner right there. And then we can place a bed uh, over here. If I can get it. There we go. And then in this corner, I'm going to place a locker. Like that. And I'll place another locker in this corner. And another in this corner. And I can surround these in windows. And place another two beds on this square tile. And then I can also put a small box here. Then I'll have four garage doors like so. And I can fit some extra loot storage. Um can fit some extra loot storage right here. Just like that. Then go out to the roof and place square roofs and a triangle right here. Then place more square roofs like this. And then place roof triangles on these two ends on both sides. And then place two square roofs like this. And then place a roof triangle at this end. And the roof should look something like this. Now I'll show you what all the final upgrades are going to look like. Upgrade all of the foundations to sheet metal, except for the foundation that is underneath your jump up. And then upgrade all of these first floor walls to sheet metal, except for this one. This wall is going to be high qual. And then upgrade these three right here. These are gonna be the three walls on top of your jump up. After that, upgrade all of the fourth floor walls to sheet metal. You can then add your jump up back like so. And put two squares on either sides. On the inside, upgrade the entire core to HQM. When turned on, it should look something like this. Then you can pick up your tier 2 and these furnaces and replace your tier 2 with a tier 3. And then you can place three electric furnaces in the core like this. And uh, make sure you add your bags in here. It looks like I forgot to place those, but that's pretty self-explanatory anyway, I guess. And then you can place a third bag here by picking up these electric furnaces. But I will leave them there just for the sake of the video. Then pick up these two doors and upgrade these doorways to sheet metal. And you can place the doors with armor bones. Like what? Once you've done that, you can go over to this side and add another garage door. On the second floor, upgrade this triangle to sheet metal, but don't upgrade this triangle because it's a waste of resources. And then you can place six electric furnaces in this triangle, like so. And then you can protect these with a window frame like that. And then this corner, you can place an auto turret once you have windmills. On the third floor, upgrade all of these outer triangles to sheet metal. And upgrade these middle squares to high qual metal. Then you can place two auto turrets on the inside, like so. You can also wall off these loot rooms with garage doors. On the fourth floor, upgrade all of the visible floors, like triangles and squares, to sheet metal.
and you can add an extra box and small box in this corner right here once you have all of the floors completed you can slowly add garage doors to all of the open frames now that the inside of the base is complete i'll show you how to add the windmills simply build five up with stone frames and then build stone triangles like that to climb up you can place netting if you want and then once you're up here you're going to take out the windmill and you're going to stand on the very corner and you're going to just try to shimmy your way around until you can find the right spot where it'll fit just like that and that's one min one mill done to build the second one though, that's the same height, but with 3x3 three three for frames instead of 2 frames, just build 3 frames instead of 2, and then build the 2 triangles facing away from the original windmill. And then again, you can just shimmy your way around until you find the right spot for the windmill. Just like that. And make sure that when you're placing them, this vining, this uh, this windmill is placed this direction away from the middle of the base, and this vending machine is placed inward towards the middle of the base. Then upgrade all of these roof pieces to sheet metal, except for this and this piece. You can leave stone. You can add a vending machine on each side very easily simply by placing two metal walls and then shimming your way in this corner and then just placing the vending machine as close to the wall as you can and you shouldn't be able to open it. Boom. To build the externals, start by placing seven squares out from out from uh, out from this wall right here out from this wall and you're going to repeat that on all four sides and then you're going to place a triangle at the end and you're going to delete all these squares except for the square that the triangle is connected to then you're going to build a half moon like this followed by two squares and you're going to place a square and a triangle here and then two triangles here and you can delete these then to build the, the airlock, you're going to place two frames, and then you're going to place um, balls like this, and then you're going to place a shelf here, with balls here and a half wall here, and then you can repeat that on the other side as well. Then place two half walls like this and put a roof on the airlock. Then you can put uh, put metal doors on the airlock like that. And then you can build drop box storage by putting boxes. Yeah. By putting by putting boxes on these triangles like that. To build a TC over here, you're going to build a design like this. And this inside piece is all going to be all going to be metal. And your TC is going to go right in here. And you're going to fill these doors with garage doors. Then build a square floor frame and build back with triangle frames like this. Oh, and by the way, this wall should be two half walls. I messed that up. And then what you should find is that there should be a triangle at 7% stability or lower. That means the bunker will work. But never upgrade before you verify. So just to verify, place that roof. Make sure that your twig breaks and proceed with upgrading the, the external. To build the peak downs, place frames in this formation 
and build them all the way up. And build them all the way up to the roof. Then place a triangle here and two squares here. Then put two wall frames like that. And then two walls in this middle spot and three windows like this. Then place doors in here facing outward. Then place two wall frames and place doors here. Then you can put a roof on everything. Right, why is this not work? Alright, I fixed the glitch. From this point, you're going to place metal vertical embrasures on the insides, just like that. And then you're going to place uh, roof, place roof pieces facing inward on the square tiles. And you're going to place roof shrines facing inward on the triangle tiles. And so you should be left with your peak downs looking like this. Place auto turrets in between the two square tiles. And this will make sure that it has 360 coverage. And then place a wall on this side to give the turrets more cover. And it should become a conditional wall like this. And you're just going to repeat that on all four sides. So you should have a base looking something in, along the lines of this. From here, go inside each one of these parts of the peak downs and place a locker with a bed. Should look something like that. And then you'll repeat that on all four sides. Once you're done building the wide gaps or the peak downs, your base is officially finished. But the compound is not, so if you want to build a compound, I will now show you how to do that. Start by placing auto turrets in each one of these turret pods. And just do that on all of the entrances to the base, or entrances to the compound, I mean. Once you place all the turrets, I'd recommend you place the uh, these metal barricades. To do that, start by adding twigs onto these parts of your entrances to the entrances to the compound and this will allow you to place a metal barricade here and then place metal barricades on these triangles once you've done that you can delete the twig place the inner walls line yourself up with the middle of the entrances like this and place it as far against the entrance as you can and you should be able to place the other wall just like that i'm gonna repeat that on the other side for the four long wall sections these wide sections line yourself up with this wall and then place a wall up against it like like uh like that and then do the same thing on the other side And then you should be able to fill this gap pretty easily with two walls. And then repeat that on the other side as well. On these wide sections, you can fit a total of three large furnaces like so. They should fit together something like this. And then you can also repeat this on the other side. On these smaller sections of the compound, you can only fit one large furnace. Then you can also fit a mixing table on each one of these like inside pockets or you can place them anywhere else if you'd like yeah like see this one kind of has dropped the turret so i'd probably want to put this one like next to the base and then also next to the base you have plenty of room to place as many refineries as you might want if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you later